Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, Magic Bu Bullet Looks Sweet 11. Um, I, my last tutorial, um, Red Giant actually tweeted me saying, hey, you should check out the new one and uh, see what it's like. So, obviously, I actually did um, go out and get it. So, I'm going to be showing you the looks for Photoshop and the different effects you've got on um, After Effects. I'll start off with Photoshop first, as it is um, only one actual plugin rather than After Effects, which has a few. So, um, we're just going to go on to your filters, Magic Bullet, and Photo Looks. Now, in my opinion, this is great for anyone that um, hasn't really got the time to spend color correcting their photos or um, actually manually um, grading and kind of like editing all their videos because this just gives nice effects straight away and you've got all these different presets to use now some of these as you can see don't actually have any presets in and that is because they are um, mainly just for the uh, video looks which is fine but what you do have is you have um, all of these you've got your popular film um, presets, popular TV stock emulation special effects, stylized, I oh, know you don't have any stylized um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through these and show you what you um, are going to expect with the new Magic Bullet Suite 11. Now, um, you can buy these all individually, if you like, rather than having the whole suite. But I went out and got the actual whole suite. So, um, you get a lot more with it to do with the previous um, Magic Bullet looks. Previous Magic Bullet looks didn't have that many presets compared to this one. You'll see exactly what I mean when I go on to After Effects and show you the presets available there. So anyway, if you're on Photoshop, you've got all these nice, really, these really nice effects which actually make your photos look very professional and I've got to give it to Red Giant. They've created a great plugin here for filmmakers, photographers alike. So it's a great piece of kit. If you have the money, I suggest to go out and get it because it is actually very good. So you've got all these really cool settings and obviously, I mean, I actually quite like that to be honest. I think that looks quite cool. Um, and all, all they are really is, you know, I can't really do a tutorial on this because colour grading is down to personal preference and whether or not you like the image yourself. I'm not going to tell you how to edit your photos, else everyone will end up being the same. So you've got to have that bit of originality and your own little style to your image, which obviously is what gets people places and gets people known. But um, just in case you do want to use these, and you want to change them, like change the presets and stuff. I mean, you've got all the options here to change stuff. So you've got your diffusion levels and all that kind of stuff, which I think is really nice. You can just change it all as much as you want, but it's completely up to you what you do. So some more with the looks. Um, we've got film stock looks, uh, bleached out effects, like kind of like sunset effects. And I think these are really effective because, I mean, there's just so many to choose from. And I think they'd suit any type of photograph you took, whether or not it was um, a dark, dreary image or a bright, maybe sunset or, you know, something like that. Because, I mean, look, you've got all these settings that can really enhance your photos, which I think are really good. And it's a really nice bit of kit to have, in my opinion. And once you've done putting on what you like, you literally just click on OK. And that's it. And it does it simple as that. Easy. No fuss at all. Let's give this a minute. And that's it then. And I know for a fact, because I've obviously done photography in the past, that doing manual settings to get an image as good as that does take quite a long time in, um, you know, like your colour adjustments and you your colour curves and that kind of thing. And actually, I will be doing a tutorial soon on um, the adjustments box here, which I know actually some people are unfamiliar with because they choose just to go to image adjustments and do it this way. Um, I'll be showing you the advantage of doing it in this way in the next video probably because um, you do get a real advantage using these. So let's hop over now to After Effects and see what we get there. So I've opened up this video in After Effects, which is just like a standard clip. 
Um, nothing special about it, just something taken when I was in London. So, um, now with Magic Bullet looks, uh, Magic Bullet Sweet 11, sorry, you get a lot. And uh, I'll open the looks now. So when you've clicked on looks, all you need to do is click on edit. And it opens the looks builder similar to Photoshop. But this one is a lot more advanced and comes with a lot more presets. So um, you've got your scopes here to see your levels of like blues, reds, greens, that kind of thing. Um, if you click on skin, I'm not entirely sure what that actually does, to be quite honest. I've not had this long enough. I only got this last night. I don't really know exactly what it does. So um, to get onto your looks, which is like the main thing you need anyway, um, you just hover over to the left of the screen here and then you've got all of these now there is a lot with this new version there is so many it is unreal so you've got a like, movie star beauty shot Berlin smooth and if you see ones like this they're very similar to films you see actually made um, I don't know if anyone's seen Unknown the film with Liam Neeson but this is very similar to the um colour grading in that film at the beginning when they're driving through Germany and there's just so many here to choose from and I think what makes this so good is it is just so easy and saves so much time uh, if you're a filmmaker or um, even a designer you can because on, on After Effects you can edit photos and there's just so much to choose from it's unreal I mean, you can't really go wrong either, because there's just so many to choose from. It's right for every single mood, every single scene, every single photo you could choose. I don't really know what you'd use that for, to be honest, but whatever. <laughs> um, you've got your cinematic settings here, so every single, like, different kind of, um, like, film genre um, covers is covered in this section, really. Um, you've got your special effects, artistic, numbed, days of night. So you can make your photo, you can make your um, images look like they're taken in the dark or what at night anyway. Um, when all these come standard, all when you just install it, and it's very easy to install. You literally click on install, and it puts it straight into your presets folder. There's no dragging, dropping changing it around anymore like they used to be with the Red Giant installers this is seriously so easy to use um, and also then you've got all your popular films so warm and fuzzy like uh, romance or something epic uh, buffalo bronze bronze aggressive uh, bronze aggressive is probably my favorite actually I think it gives it a lot of depth and a lot of Potential if you're gonna be making a short film. You've got Blockbuster, which you might want to use for like an action film or something. Um, you've got all your horror presets, so, so like old um, 50s, 60s kind of colour grading, which they'd have used <laughs> back then. Uh, got your classic stock emulations. Popular TV. I mean, there's just so much you've got. It's actually very. Glad that I went out and got this um, other version compared to the first. Um, they've got this effect with the um, blue flares. Now, this is seen a lot in music videos. If you watch them on kind of like MTV or anything like that, that this effect used a lot. Um, the stylized feature is quite nice as well. If you want to have some like, fisheye look or. Uh, well, anything that's here that you're keen on, you can use. So, um. That looks. What you also get with a magic bullet is uh, a denoiser. So if your image is particularly noisy, you can just click on noise reduction, up the noise reduction, and it gets rid of the noise, which you can see here on the road. All it does really is just adds a really minimal blur. Which, because let's see here, look, you've got the you've got the um, noise there on the road. It's not noise, but it's just like a texture on the ground. It starts to fade a little when um, you increase the noise reduction. You can change most motion estimation. So if you're using a clip with a lot of motion in it, and you don't want it to just blur everything, 
Uh, you can change the motion estimation, change the enhancement. So if you want to sharpen it. So if you want to make your image look a little more, little more HD or make it a little more interesting, just click on enhancement and it enhances your image. So that's a really nice feature you get as well. Um, there's also instant HD. So if you've got an image that, if you've got a video that isn't full HD framed, you can just click on any of these settings here and it, change, and it can change your image to HD, which I think is a nice setting to have. Obviously that's the uh, standard uh, HD. Uh, Mojo, <clears throat> which actually is like a custom looks, uh, which I think actually is a really nice feature because if you just want it to be a little bit off a certain setting, you can just change all these things. I'll get rid of colors, punch it as like a vignette, increases like the darkness and stuff. Warm it, increase your um, oranges and stuff, and that is a really nice thing to have. You when you got skin, so it increases skin colors. And if you want to enhance your colors, you know you've got all these options to do so, and I think that's just a great piece of uh, kit to have with this software. So if any of you are thinking of going out and getting Magic Bullet Looks Suite 11, is it 11? Yeah, it's 11. I can really advise getting it. And you've got all these settings as well. Vignettes. Uh, and they're all they're all kind of just preset for you, really. There's nothing you really need to do. It's all just there, which I think is a really nice feature to have because any of you that know filmmaking is a very long, tiresome process and sometimes the editing can be the most important bit of making it look really good. So having this is a great thing to have. So you've got your flicker there. Uh, what else have we got then? Um, got colorista, which is just kind of like a custom uh, hue saturation, a bit more advanced than uh, Adobe's own. Um, UV saturation because obviously uh, Adobe's one's a bit minimal doesn't really come with everything you need uh, what else is there frames uh, you can choose like letterboxer which I think this is probably the best thing because if you haven't got the time to manually change all of your settings and all of your frames and all that kind of thing then all you got to do letterboxer anamorphic which changes it to like cinema scope, which is basically what you need, and that's it. So, if you're making a film, you want to give it a really nice film look, the Letterboxer is probably the best option for you. Um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial, like tutorials individually, on film looks, uh, different kind of effects you can put in films, because obviously, I'm trying to move now more into kind of filmmaking. I know that graphics is something obviously we all like watching and stuff, we all like learning from, but. Uh, I enjoy filmmaking personally and I'm going to make some videos for it. Um, I'm obviously still going to make graphics tutorials so don't worry about that, I'm still going to make videos about like graphic design, effects, photoshop, things like that. So um, this should just bring it be a bit more exciting and get like aspiring photographers, filmmakers, whatever to start getting involved with a bit more because once you have stuff like this it just makes things so much easier and makes possibilities seem so endless because when you first start doing it, you think, oh, it's going to be so hard, I don't know how to do it, it doesn't look very good. But when you've got things like this, it just makes it so much easier. Um, for people that can't get Magic Bullet Looks, I'll also do tutorials showing you how to get around this, how to do it yourself. Obviously, it'll be a bit more of a lengthy, uh, more detailed video, because it's not just a preset, but I'll show you anyway. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, what else was there on instant hate on sorry on frames um, frame plus uh, 
Okay, not gonna mess around with that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, and that's basically it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the overview. Um, nothing else really to say. I'll be doing some, as I said, I'll be doing some more individual tutorials on each part of Magic Bullet Looks, how to kind of create different effects and stuff like that. Um, I'll be doing some more Photoshop tutorials this week. I'll go away on the. Is it the 7th? No, no, no. Yep, I'll go away on the 7th, which is this Sunday coming till the 12th, so there won't be any videos for that whole week. Um, expect some videos when I get back. I'm going to be making a lot this week, so I can upload them when I get back. Um, I might start doing some game videos, as you guys know. Now I can, because it just, just works easier. Um, and I know a lot of you like videos with gameplay, because I upload them and you're all like, do some more, do some more. So um, I'll obviously do that. Um, in regards to my channel, there's nothing else really to say, but um, just stay subscribed and there's going to be a lot more content coming out soon. I'm also making my first uh, film, short film, film, whatever, um, this this coming holiday, so I'm going to be doing a lot, I'm going to be spending a lot of time doing that. Um, I'll be up, I'll be doing videos. Maybe a bit more involved with that, maybe like little interviews with cast or, you know, whatever kind of things you want to see. Um, I might actually make a separate channel so you guys can stay tuned to that because hopefully, fingers crossed, Hollywood.com, I'm going to upload it there to an official YouTube channel, which will be a good um, bit of exposure for me and uh, the cast. So this could actually be quite a big deal. Uh, once it gets a bit closer, once, that, once shooting starts actually happening, I'll include some more details and you guys can then go and check it out for yourself. Cheers for watching, I know it's been quite a long video but um, I hope you enjoy it anyway. Uh, I hope it gave you a good bit of information on Magic Bullet Looks and I'll see you later in my next tutorials for graphic design and filmmaking. See you later.